Hey love, welcome and welcome back. Yes, honey, welcome and welcome back. So good to see you guys. I hope all is well. I hope everybody is doing fine and everybody is staying safe. For those of you who just tuned in for the first time ever, welcome. My name is Candy Dreams and it's a pleasure to have you, sweetheart. And I hope that you hit that subscribe button while you're here. And for those of you who have been rocking with your girl from day one, what's up, boo? What it do? Okay, thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, I appreciate your time like so much. I appreciate you boo. okay so in today's video we are going to talk about the 100 envelope challenge that i did recently yes i posted it a couple of um probably about a week or two ago i'm not for sure but i'll be sure to link it down below so in case if you missed it or if you're new to what i'm talking about then you'll be able to catch up okay so um in that video basically i showed you guys how i did my 100 envelope challenge also in the video i showed you guys my method i told you guys exactly what i did but for some reason some of you guys are still a little clueless or you're not for sure exactly how i did the challenge or how the challenge works um unfortunately you guys missed this part of the video. Um, the idea behind this savings challenge is you have a hundred envelopes that you would number one through 100 and you are supposed to save for 100 days. Here's my idea behind this challenge. I kind of switched it up a little bit, okay? Because y'all know I like to kind of challenge myself and give myself a little bit more to bargain for. Try to, you know, beat the odds, let's just say. So the ultimate goal for the 100 envelope system is by the end of the 100 day period, Period, you should have at least $5,000 saved up. Well, I took it upon myself to try to double it. Yeah, um, well, I don't know why. Maybe you guys skipped through the video or I'm not exactly sure how you missed the first part of the video, but that's okay. Okay. It's cool. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you guys today exactly how I did my 100 envelope challenge and was able to save over $8,000 in my challenge. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you like a better clarification or more understanding of exactly how the challenge works and how I changed the challenge up so that it'll be more comfortable or more user friendly for my own situation or my own budget okay which is what I also want you guys to do you use the resources and tools that I give you guys and you of course you modify it and you make it work with your budget or you make it work with your lifestyle your income what have you okay first things first when it comes to the 100 envelope challenge you're gonna need envelopes yes honey you have these plain white envelopes okay and these work just fine or you could do like I did and decide to use the colorful envelopes yes I like colors honey I like to you know jazz it up a little bit and make it feel fun to me the the white is just basic okay and uh yeah I try to put a little spice in my life just a little bit okay <laughs> and uh if you are interested in these envelopes yes boo I did link it down below so that you can order you some okay they came straight from Amazon all right what you want to do with your envelopes whether it's the white ones or the colorful ones you just want to number them one through 100 okay um one helpful tip that i will tell you guys is consider taking this challenge on for an entire year it'll make it easy especially if this is your first time doing a savings challenge or if this is your first time doing the envelope challenge me on my end i did it for six months okay i'm able to do it because i do a lot of different things where i wear several different hats in life so that i can save a little more faster and a little more okay by all means you do what works best for you okay what you want to do is you want to consider one year six months or three months however whatever floats your boat and makes you comfortable you're going to take those 365 days so i'm going with the year for example okay take the 365 days and with the 100 envelopes okay you have a total of 100 envelopes that you've numbered one through 100 okay each one has a different number on it you're going to take those envelopes and put them away okay so you'll have a total of 365 days throughout the year to fill those envelopes in my case in my 100 envelope challenge I wanted to give myself a little push or I wanted to kind of see if I can go above and beyond okay usually the challenge calls for five thousand dollars in a year I wanted to double the amount and that's what I did I just took every envelope and I numbered it one through 100 which will give me a hundred days however instead of putting in the amount that's on the envelope which is what you're typically supposed to do so like for example if this card here if this envelope had the number 36 on it I would put $36 in it and put it away okay if this 
envelope had a hundred dollars on it I will put a hundred dollars in this envelope if this envelope had two dollars on it I will put two dollars in this envelope okay so instead of me doing it that way I decided that I only wanted to use a certain bill just like I did with the ten dollar challenge and the twenty dollar challenge and the five dollar challenge I only used a certain bill which in this case I chose to use the one hundred dollar bill only so when I pulled the envelope even though this would say whatever day or whatever number on it I would only put in a hundred dollar bill so I wouldn't put 36 if this had 36 I would put a hundred dollars in this envelope a hundred dollars in this envelope and a hundred dollars in this envelope making me have a total of 300 for the envelopes that I had filled okay I hope that makes sense now again I did that because that's what works the best for my budget and my income I could do that okay you do not have to do that however if you're up for the challenge and you want to do that by all means definitely take advantage baby because it's extremely rewarding okay to have a total of almost I filled almost all of the envelopes I think it was about 13 left and um, I didn't get to fill those 13, but that was almost $10,000, right? Like, almost $10,000. That's more than the income tax, at least for me, okay? So, yeah, I was really happy about it, and you'll be really happy either way. Whether you do the 1 through 100, or you decide to choose one bill and use it and fill it up with that one bill, you're still going to be winning. So, either way, works. And, of course, with this challenge, you already know you're going to have to take the envelopes, and you're going to have to securely lock them away or put them in a place so that you won't go into them, and you'll have them when it's time to count. Up. Yeah, so just lock it away so that way you don't have to worry about it. You know, set it and forget it. Okay, that's what you're going to be doing with your envelopes. Well, I personally find this challenge to be one of the more easiest or one of the more uh, fun challenges to get into, especially like I said, if it's your first time getting into a challenge because it allows yourself to have some breathing room and some time to get things together or get things in order. It doesn't require you to rush. So, like um, I said, if you chose the 365, 365 days, you got 365 days out of the whole year and all you have to do is take a hundred of those days and fill your envelopes up for yourself okay so yeah I think that's pretty I think that's pretty reasonable I think that's pretty doable and I think it makes sense so definitely give the 100 envelope challenge a chance it doesn't matter when you start you start at the beginning of the year you start at the end of the year you start in the middle of the year it doesn't matter just as long as you start okay so definitely go for it and do your thing well you got this so basically that's all I want to tell you guys in regards to the hundred dollar envelope challenge I just wanted to give some clarity there because I don't like y'all to be confused and trying to figure out what's what and how to do this and how to do that it's really simple okay and I apologize for those of you who you know missed the actual commentary in the video or if I was not as clear as I should have been but as you can see I got you okay um don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys later and I love